All right, welcome to part four of uh, working on this assignment. Um, I changed the problem a little bit. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Um, it said, find the coordinates of the vertices of these uh, points here for your vertices. Uh, you're more than welcome to graph them uh, if it'll help you. Uh, but because I did a problem earlier where it said uh, reflection across the line y equals x, I just changed it to give you an example for what it looks like when we reflect across the line um, the y-axis. So remember the y-axis is the one that goes uh, straight up and down. Uh, so we're just going to simply use the, the formulas that we have here. Uh, so that you guys see an example on what it looks like for reflecting across the y-axis. So uh, as you see right there, it's uh, y-axis, our lowercase r, y-axis, x, y, and it's going to become negative x comma y. So that tells you all your y values stay the same, uh, and your x values will become the opposite. That's what that negative means there. Okay. So that's the rule that we're going to use. I'm going to keep that handy. Uh, I'm going to rewrite all of these problems or all these vertices so that you can see them uh, through the transformation and then just simply list them out what it will look like after it reflects across the y axis. Okay, so let's just take all our points. G is located at 4, 1. H is located at 3, 3. Uh, I is located at 4, 3. And J is located at 5, 1. Okay, uh, so the transformation across the y axis simply says our y axis. You don't have to write all this down, but I'm just writing it so everyone can see what the formula is, x comma y, the points that you have, will now become negative x comma y when we reflect across the y-axis. Okay, so all you have to do is simply write the new vertices and where they're located. G is going to become G prime. Our x, is become the opposite. So this is a positive four. I'm gonna make this negative four. My y stays exactly the same. So that's going to be negative four comma one. H prime. This one should be pretty straightforward and easy. It's three, three. So my x becomes the opposite. So negative three. My y stays the same, positive three. I prime becomes the opposite, so that's going to be negative 4. Y stays the same, positive 3. And J prime is going to be the opposite for my X, negative 5. And the Y value stays exactly the same, positive 4. So uh, as I said uh, in earlier, just um, you can print this out. You can just uh, plot a piece of line paper or a blank sheet of paper um, and just go through the steps. Take your time. Uh, there's a few problems there. I believe there's a 12 or 14. Um, and just take your time, uh, print out the rules or at least have them handy that you can reflect back to them. Uh, so I just printed them out. So I just had them handy for all of them. And obviously, if you still have all your notes from school, uh, you can use a flippy chart to also assist you with it. So that should conclude today's um, video. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. Have a good day.